So the definitions for acids and bases have actually changed over the years, and it all started out with a guy named Arrhenius. And what Arrhenius said was that acids add H plus into the solution, while bases add OH minus into the solution. And you'll see in a minute why this theory isn't as accepted as the Bronsted-Lowry theory for acids and bases. So what Bronsted and Lowry said was that acids are proton donors. So they donate protons into the solution, but bases are proton acceptors. So they accept the H plus in the solution. So uh, the reason why the Arrhenius theory isn't as widely accepted is because it pretty much assumes that H plus is in the acid for the acid to add H plus into the solution. And the base has OH minus in it for it to directly add OH minus into the solution. But as you can see with NH3, for example, um, this is a base, but it doesn't have OH minus in it. What it does is when it's added to water, it becomes NH4 plus and OH minus. So it takes an H plus from H2O and H2O becomes OH minus. So it's accepting the proton from H2O. Now, there can be strong and weak acids and bases. So what makes a um, acid strong or a base strong is that it dissociates 100%. So 100% dissociation, basically. And we symbolize this 100% dissociation by using a solid arrow like that. So an example of a strong acid would be HBr because it completely dissociates into H plus and Br minus. Um, a strong base would be anything from groups one and two of the periodic table basically. So I don't know, let's go with K. So KOH goes through 100% dissociation into K plus ions and OH minus ions. Now we have our weak um, acids and bases, which do not undergo 100% diso dissociation. They only dissociate partially. So a weak acid would be um, acetic acid, so that would be HC2H3O2. And to show that it only dissociates partially into ions, we use these half arrows going in opposite directions. So it's going to dissociate into H plus and acetate. Like that. Whoops, that's a minus. Okay, and then a weak base would be, uh, like I said before, NH3. And that, when added to water, is going to make NH4 plus and OH minus. We have one more thing that we need to go over, and these are conjugate acids and bases. So the conjugate of an acid would be um, basically the acid without an H plus. So let's say we have HF and this is our acid. HF is a weak acid. So its conjugate would be the HF without the H plus ion. So that is going to be F minus because the charge is neutral in the HF, but when you take out an H plus, it's going to become negative and we're going to be left with only the F. So let's do this again with ammonium. So we have NH3, which is a base, but its conjugate acid is going to have an H plus added onto it. So instead of NH3, we'll have another H, so that's going to be four, 
and we have to add a plus because we're adding H plus.